change a Black & Decker Grasshog a spool. This model is the GH1000 Type 4. The first part is to remove the spool. By the way, if you have a black cover on this spool, uh, there's a factory recall on it for safety reasons. If it's orange like this, it's one that's been uh, upgraded. Just put it between your, your knees like this. So it's pushing in with your thumb on one side and lifting. Push on the other side, lift a little bit and it pops out. Next thing you see inside is a, a screw that must be removed. It can either a common or a star type screwdriver. Put a bit of 3-in-1 oil or on this screw, by the way, before you put it back. Or 1040. It might take some 1040 sometime to get them out because they're a bit stiff. This one in particular had some blue paint on it for some reason. Probably from fact. The next thing is popping out the, sc the spool itself. Generally, if it's not too bad, you can use two fingers like that, pop it up. It just snaps in place like that. You hear it. If need be, you can stick a screwdriver in the side very carefully so you don't break that plastic and pry as you lift and it should pop right out. Underneath, you'll see it has a, a serrated bottom to it which has the gearing mechanism which fits into this little uh, cam right here. So don't try and remove any of that part unless it's broken, of course. So as I say before, it just pops in like this. There, you can hear it pop in. And to remove it, grip it by both sides and pull it out. <clears throat> the next process is the uh, filament itself. Recommended for this unit is the 80 thou, or 2 millimeter, I guess they call it, but it's the round, the green one in this case, 80 millimeter. And it's not recommended to use anything less than that. The blue or the other color, 65 mil or less, will not work with this machine. So what you want to do is to take this and expanding it. Then cut them. What to do is start winding by hand. Start with the top part of the spool first. You can tell the writing at the top has arrows on it because it says Black & Decker. <clears throat> so looking inside you'll see two small slotted grooves. Again starting in the top side, stick it in there after you make a little bend in it. A little kink in the, in the material so that you have a hook on it. And facing it in line with the arrow on the top side stick it in that slot and pull it tight. Now, you've got to know what you want to do is evenly wind it around that spool. What I do is use my leg to push it down, keeping it tight as possible. The robin is quite interested in what I'm doing, of course. You don't want to overfill this spool either. Just about there. I think with this we have see what's happened here, we've got probably a bit too much. So I'm gonna clip it off. Because I'm using the heavier filament in this machine doesn't take quite as much. When you get to that point, you'll see notches at the side. Allow yourself probably uh, oh, 8 or 10 inches, something like that, and hook it into that, that little notch that's there. It's a keeper. Now we do the same thing on the other side, bringing, filling up this groove and bringing the filament up and hooking up and the opposite side over here. Making a little hook in the end of it. Going into the spool and searching out that small slot. Stick it in and pull it tight. 
and start your winding again in the same direction as the arrows. See the arrows on there. So winding again. Start the process of moving it along. Or that's on the other side. And I think we've come to that point about now. There again, we'll cut that off. And we want to go to the opposite side and hook it in that keeper there. Now at the time, what we've got now is two complete filled spools and the two cords in the keeper at the top. Now here in this case, it's just a case of reinserting it in the machine and popping it down. It's popped down in there. Now you go back to your, your head, just take this one filament out. Insert it in the side slot and pull it down and it holds itself there. Same on the other side. Pop that one. You can put it in the slot first sometimes if you want to. You can see it coming out there. Just out of that slot, that keeper slot. And pull it out there. Okay, snug it up. Time to replace the screw. Should be level and move freely. <clears throat> I wouldn't worry about you could trim these cords if you wish. Cutting a cord off like that. This piece over here, of course, is the cutter, the cord cutter. It's a sharp piece of metal at the edge of the tool, right there. And when it's revolving, this piece will hit against that and cut to the proper length. Now's the time to uh, reinsert your cap with the two lugs, as I mentioned, on both sides. Place it in your machine so that both lugs are press fit down and then pop it in place. And there you have it. Newly strung Black & Decker Grass Hog. Be sure to wrap your cord in the security feature in the handle or loop it through the handle a couple of times for safety's sake. And, uh, Make sure the plug is in securely and you're ready to go. And you should be wearing goggles too.